you don't talk about feeling. You get feeling up in this barn? Yeah. <laughs> she won't come up here. Like I said, it's almost the barn's got its own moves. <laughs> That's a good way to put it. The noises that are made are things we can't explain. Somebody that's been here in the past or still here. Yeah, they say that there were over 80 men hung upstairs. And I'm not taking nothing away from God. And I don't empower Satan, so I believe it's just something that hasn't moved on, hasn't figured out. Maybe he doesn't want to move on because it's not very nice where he's going. <laughs> they couldn't have hanged him for good reasons. <laughs> A lot of gruesome deaths in the Wild West. And gruesome deaths mean angry spirits. You can run on for a long time, run on for a long time, run on for a long time. Sooner or later, we gotta cut you down. Sooner or later, we gotta cut you down. I'm Grayson McGraw. I'm the founder, lead investigator for Altitude Paranormal. We investigate murders, mine cave ins, and hangings out in the street. Tons of energy. A lot of that energy is not good. We can't believe how scared the community is of this house. When I started, I was still very much afraid of it. It's a little bit of adrenaline rush, knowing that there is something beyond our world. Horny ghosts like Marissa, because she is not unattractive. At one time, one of you followed her home. Went to bed, woke up, and there was a shadow standing over my bed. And instead of being afraid of it, you know, it's something that excites me. There's a normal audio guy who usually just runs around with some kind of recording unit, and then there's an audio badass. I am what I would call the bionic ear. I could pick up a fly fart 300 yards away. I can hear anything. Apparitions, voices, whispers. It, it gives me goosebumps. I was thinking of taking a starter motor off a car, mounting a magnet to it, and putting that fucker on top of it. So anything that is unknown, anything that is unexplained, is always interesting to me. Basically, I see something, I say, wow, that should work, and then I try it. And if it works, I was right. If it doesn't work, I either did it wrong or I was wrong. I have proof that magic exists. I can watch porn in the middle of a cemetery. If a demon ripped apart a wall, tore down the camera, and punched Grayson in the face, he would probably... Question. I'm sorry, I don't know what that was. Let me put it this way. Grayson's dream ghost experience would be to play catch with Casper in the backyard. There's gonna be conflict always in human relationships. Cody challenges me on a lot of things, but I think that that's necessary. Does the thing lit up like crazy when I put it on our bed in the hotel room? I mean, we, we have our tough moments, there's no doubt about that. I think that that, um, that back and forth, whatever, the, if you want to call it intellectual banter. Right now, tonight, at this moment, I'm proving to be fucking wrong. I'm going to laugh in the face. You have time in your face. I'm going to laugh at you. We have a nasty temper. <laughs> Basically, I think that a skeptic is just a believer in need of an experience. Fifteen years ago, my dad passed away, and, and that was the hardest thing I've ever had to go through. You know, when, when walking through my house, when I, I smelled his cologne, I mean, that's hope. There was no mistake, and that was my dad. Having the knowledge to then take the next step and, and have that conversation that you want to have with him is miraculous. This proves it. This proves that absolutely something is in this ballroom. So don't tell me it's the fucking wind or a hummingbird or seismic changes or tectonic fucking plates. Did you see that? Oh my god. Tell that midnight rider, tell the rambler, the gambler, the backbiter, tell him that God's gonna cut you down, tell him that God's gonna cut you down, tell him that God's gonna cut you down.